everybody Stevie here from never too late to travel sunny morning here in uh, Ratchaburi just taking a few hours to uh, drive here from uh, Bangkok uh, with the intention of having a look around this place which is the Tao, Tao Hong Thai Ceramics Museum and Factory saw a little bit about it on uh, YouTube and uh, was uh, quite taken with the place and uh, being as I'm in the area this weekend, I thought I'd take the opportunity to uh, come and have a look for myself. As you can see, quite a, a colourful place to uh, visit. And uh, I don't know uh, what I'm really expecting to find, but uh, let's hope that it's uh, interesting for everybody. Formerly, this uh, ceramics uh, factory was the home of the uh, uh, original dragon jar, which I'm hoping to see uh, as we walk around. But now it's uh, morphed itself out to producing uh, all different types of uh, ceramics with different colours and designs. Uh, some are for export and uh, some are for the internal Thai market. Other pieces are produced for uh, private buyers, uh, for example hotels and uh, restaurants and uh, private houses etc. Some of the uh, larger jars here are actually uh, completely made by hand and uh, there is no electric turntable to turn the clay uh, this is done by the uh, operator or the potter's feet and uh, some of these jars reach in excess of uh, three foot high so let's hope that we can see some of that being done as we walk around the grounds are kept uh, immaculate it uh, must be a lot of work to keep them in this condition and uh, as you walk around you'll find uh, a map of the area so uh, you'll know where you are at any given time. Apparently a lot of the uh, ceramics are shipped out by container to uh, America as there is a, a constant market uh, for these type, type of ceramics. You'll also find uh, workshops and uh, a little cafe uh, bar that you can uh, get cold drinks and a coffee. The staff are very, very welcoming and uh, friendly. I believe that the family who started off this uh, ceramics uh, factory here uh, originated uh, from China and they brought their uh, skills and expertise to the uh, Ratchaburi area. And uh, I'm not sure, but this is, I know it's been going over for over 60 years, but uh, maybe as much as 100, I, I can't quite remember. Don't ever let it change. No 
All the ceramics are in very, very bright colours and uh, really, really pleasant to see. Varying in size from very, very small pieces to uh, pieces that uh, are above my uh, height. So, very, very much a wide variety of everything. I was uh, hoping to actually see the uh, long dragon kiln this morning but uh, I was told when I came in that uh, it's not open to uh, visitors today uh, and for me that would have been uh, quite interesting because the uh, dragon kiln is uh, a very 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 long structure and uh, as they put the uh, items into fire uh, they open certain windows in the roof uh, so the, the, the fire and the heat spreads throughout the belly of the dragon and uh, that's how the uh, pottery is actually baked but uh, sadly uh, I'm sure that we won't be able to see that uh, or even the kiln this morning One or two people here visiting this morning, but uh, no large crowds. Some of the dragon jars there uh, from the original designs, but uh, as I said, they've uh, now morphed out into uh, producing all different types of uh, pottery. Absolutely uh, fantastic place with some uh, absolutely beautiful ceramics but uh, sadly I don't see any structure to the place. The ceramics seem to be just stacked and uh, pushed uh, in every spare corner with uh, no real organisation which I find very very strange. If you look at the uh, value of uh, these uh, items, uh, you can imagine if you counted it out in Bart, uh, there's quite a, a few million Bart here of stock. And uh, it's a shame to see it just stacked out in the open. Uh, maybe they don't have uh, enough storage or they've overproduced at some time. But uh, I do find it very, very strange that all these ceramics would uh, be out in the open. Some absolutely beautiful, stunning pieces here. And uh, some of the jars here, the larger ones, uh, they can take from one week to two weeks to actually just paint them before firing. So uh, very, very labor intensive. I think the blue and white here is more traditional uh, Chinese wear. And quite a few figures of uh, different types uh, I've spotted around uh, in and amongst the ceramics. Some ceramics in the shape of uh, bathtubs. And if you're ever in the uh, Ratchaburi area, uh, I would add, uh, advise you kindly to come and have a look for yourself because uh, I'm sure that uh, you'll find the, uh, the colours and the different uh, variety of ceramics absolutely fascinating as I have.
Well, just looking uh, ahead, uh, this is a very, very large area uh, to view. Uh, I really wasn't expecting it to be as large as what it actually is. And uh, I just cannot see why all these ceramics are stored outside. Uh, maybe there is a lack of storage facilities, I'm not really entirely sure. But uh, to me, it seems just a shame that there is no organisation. Maybe Covid has taken its toll on the factory and uh, they maybe have had to lay staff up in the past and they haven't been able to store things uh, appropriately. But uh, your guess is as good as mine. lady there putting the finishing touches to uh, a ceramic piece Some of the larger pots here are certainly more than I could actually lift. Well, we'll slowly uh, make our way uh, to the back of the uh, grounds here and uh, see if we can find something interesting inside some of these uh, buildings. Apart from uh, special orders, uh, I question of why you would make uh, more ceramics. Um, another beautiful uh, ceramic wall there, very very colourful, great for taking uh, selfies and uh, pictures. Here in front of us we have a gentleman potter making uh, one of the uh, larger items and uh, turning the uh, clay with his feet, a small uh, turntable. to go inside here but uh, I'm sure it'll be okay to uh, do a quick walk through Most of this video is uh, self-explanatory. Uh, you can see uh, what's on offer yourself and it doesn't really take a, a lot of explanation, uh, but nevertheless fascinating. This guy is actually working on a huge pot. It must take him a few hours to uh, put that all together. And even the workshops uh, areas uh, are kept very, very clean and tidy. I was expecting a lot more dust and uh, 
bits of uh, broken pottery around, but uh, that is uh, not the case, and a uh, real pleasure to see. Some employees here putting the uh, paintings on uh, various items of ceramics. As I said previously, it can take a week or two weeks to paint just one uh, piece of uh, ceramic. These are some of the uh, larger items that have been turned completely by hand and uh, feet operation. Looking at it, it appears that one potter uh, produces the, uh, the main structural piece and uh, another guy adds the uh, embellishments on the sides. This maybe is uh, a special order because the uh, pieces have just uh, been recently uh, produced. They're still wet and uh, glistening. Another area of uh, workshop where they uh, produce uh, smaller items and uh, just looking uh, around there they look as though they have some uh, small kilns also in this area. I'm told that most of the clay that they use at uh, this ceramics uh, factory is like the ready brown uh, type of clay and uh, when they want to produce uh, lighter uh, coloured uh, ceramics they bring the clay in either from uh, Lam Lampang or uh, Chiang Mai. I think if we uh, head up this road here and uh, turn to the right we'll find uh, a few more uh, workshop areas. And looking into some of the uh, ceramics, uh, I've seen uh, quite a few broken pieces, uh, which is a shame, and that's either down to poor storage or just uh, carelessness when uh, moving ceramics around.
A little bit disappointing that uh, we're not going to see the uh, Dragon Kiln. Uh, for me, that would have been uh, especially interesting. But with everything in life, you can't always have what you desire. So this is the last little bit of the uh, workshop areas to cover. Uh, I do hope that you found this uh, video interesting as I have and if you're in the uh, area maybe uh, it will inspire you to come and have a look for yourself. Please my friends don't forget to uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more of my travels and trips around Thailand and uh, please uh, leave comments where you feel appropriate. Uh, you don't know how much I appreciate those as they help me to improve my channel and uh, it draws attention to uh, the uh, content of uh, future videos. So thank you very much my friends and I hope to catch you on the next one. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye.